your life and as you set those goals for yourself and you go upon that journey you think you started because of this money goal or this business goal and you realize you started because you love the journey and this journey provides you that experience that gives you that knowledge and that knowledge is something that rewards you by you becoming a god within your own being you can internalize that and so that god complex that i had as a child changes over time and then i recognize that it's a protocol in order to be a god it's not an ego so the protocol for one, you got to have knowledge. You're not a God if you're dumb. I don't care how much you call yourself a God. It's the same thing as you say you're a real nigga and you're snitching. You're not a real nigga. Take it back. It don't work that way because it's a protocol that the streets created as rules and conditions that you have to follow in order to be a certain thing. You're not a doctor. You ain't go to medical school. And so I'm like, OK, I have to be able to take this idea and I have to be able to adapt it in reality in real life. You know what I mean? What will make me a God? I have to get that certain knowledge that I can imprint and I can do something with. I have to be able to execute it. Having knowledge is not power. The execution of knowledge is power. You know how many people know shit that don't do nothing with it? You know what I'm saying? Would you rather be a Buddhist in, uh, 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 you know, the mountain somewhere with all of this deep enlightenment? Or would you rather have the legacy of Malcolm X or somebody? Somebody executing everything they know, you know what I mean, with an upright and a moral and righteous cause. And so when you upon that journey, you start to learn how to do things like this. And you like this a protocol. I get that knowledge. You know what I mean? And then I can put that out in the world. Because when the Egyptians used to call people gods, it was based off their knowledge. So let's say it was no knowledge of geometry. And here comes an Egyptian person giving them the knowledge of geometry and things of that nature. They now become a god. They just became because they are giving a superior knowledge than that was there before. And until somebody else give a superior knowledge, then they go reign as gods. You know what I mean? So knowledge has an expiration date until something superior comes along. And so if you, your parents teaching you how to count, you're using the knowledge that they gave you that's imprinted on your mind to count as your system. And then your teacher teaches you multiplication. And now that knowledge that they gave you is God in your mind. Because what is God? It's a thought that somebody teaches you about. And so depending on whether you are, you're a Christian, you're Buddhist, you're Muslim, the teacher and that knowledge that they gave you is God because that's how you develop that concept of what God is in the first place. So when you learn how to internalize and gather your own original thought processes, then you become the God of yourself. It becomes an internal thing. So when you're praying, you're praying for that power to do, not for things to be done for you. Because she don't work like that. You can go sit down and pray for a job all day. Or you can sit down and you can pray how to get a job. And then right after you do it, you execute. Because prayer is a form of meditation. It allows your synapses in your brain to connect and think and form new ideas and connections and inner waves. You feel me? So that's why sometimes somebody asks you a question, you got to stop. And then that thought comes to you. It's connecting in there. You read right before you go to sleep, your mind hustling for you. Because... Now it's going to be forming new thoughts. So by the time you wake up, it processed that information and you wake up a whole new person. Like you got to know how to hack yourself. Like these are brain hacks. You know what I mean? Like I, I made a video once about how do I hustle in my sleep? That's how you hustle. Read something that's towards your goal. And right there before you go to sleep, you read something towards your goal. You don't have to understand it then, but your brain, your subconscious brain is going to be putting that together. And when you wake up, it's much like an iPhone update. You know what I'm saying? You do it right before you go to sleep and you wake up and your phone is updated. And that's how it works. You got a question? Oh, I mean, when, when I was younger, I don't know, like, like he was saying, like with the athlete thing, like, I watch a lot of basketball, you know, mm -hmm. just, like workout stuff. Like before I go to sleep, I watch like probably like an hour. Like two or just you know just straight basketball workouts is like just athletes and then yeah. I wake up like you know six in the morning and go do a jog or a workout so that's like what you saying like is is it training your mind to do like the things you want to do in your future or what you want to be like is that what you saying constantly yeah in a sense now what I'm saying right now is more psychology on how the mind works if you want to learn new things you have to know how the mind works. So before the age of 25, your brain is different. It changes. The chemistry of it changes. So you got to think of it like an open treasure trunk. So before 25, you throwing all of these things in there that you can use. And then when 25, 
that trunk closes. So everything you did before the age of 25, you can use as a tool in life. So let's say there was uh, somebody started to teach you about language, Chinese and things of that nature. You always have that as a platform that you can go through in life and use. That's why some people later on in life have tools that people consider as natural abilities. But a lot of times that's something that somewhere in life, you know, they threw in that treasure chunk of theirs. And then after 25, your brain changes where they say at first you couldn't teach a old dog new tricks, but then they figured out that that wasn't the truth. The brain just changes the way that it learns. So I forget um, the part of the brain that learns new things, but it changes at the 25 to where after you learn a new information, you have to now be in intellectual hubs where other people are learning, and that's because your brain